Trello is an amazing tool to manage all of your projects, all of your to-dos, and especially when it comes to collaborating with others, whether it's for your own personal use or if you're using it with your business or with your work. Trello is a very advanced tool for managing all of those ideas and following all those tasks through a particular process. But perhaps you've used Trello and said to yourself, this isn't just for me, or maybe I want it to do something a little more than what Trello is capable of. Well, in today's video, I'm going to share with you three alternatives to Trello, things that can do many of the same things that Trello does, but perhaps in a very different way. So if you're not such a big fan of Trello, stay tuned for three of my favorite alternatives to the Trello system. So my first suggestion is Asana. And Asana is probably an application you've heard of before if you are already using Trello. There's a lot of debate over which of these applications is better, Trello versus Asana. And that's because many of the same features that you find in Trello can be found here in Asana as well. If I open up one of these tasks here on the left-hand side, you can see I can assign members to it, I can add a due date, I can add attachments, here's a description area, uh, there's even a comment section below. In fact, even the inside of one of the tasks within Asana looks very familiar to what we see within a Trello card. But Asana may be a preference for you or for your team if you are wanting pure task management. Here you can see I have a number of tasks laid out here. And I can have multiple members assigned to them. I can easily see the due dates here. And Asana also makes it very easy for me to check things off. I can just simply check this little check mark icon and I can check my tasks off as I'm going about my day. Asana is also very powerful when it comes to subtasks. And if you don't like the arrangements or the relationships in Trello, you may like the way that Asana associates subtasks within its system. Asana also allows you to have conversations outside of the particular tasks themselves. Here you see the conversations tab. We also have things such as a files tab. So you can see all of the files associated with this particular project instead of having that file attached to a particular card. But Asana has also gone one step further. And if you still like the board style format, well, Asana has that as well. So you can still create lists. You can still create cards cards as you would within Trello and enjoy that Kanban style here. Now, my second suggestion as an alternative to Trello would be Todoist. Many people are using Trello as their primary task manager, something for their personal to-dos. And if you want something that maybe isn't quite as full-featured, and maybe you don't need so many lists, you might enjoy Todoist. Todoist is arguably the most popular to-do list app today. Um, and you can see why. It's a very simple yet powerful layout. Here you can see my tasks for today, and I've got my overdue assignments up here at the top. It's very easy to add new tasks. Just select this plus button at the top of your screen, and you can add tasks immediately to your list. Todoist also gives you the ability to separate out your list into different projects. So here I've got a personal to-do list, I've got a work to-do list, and I can have other lists as well, such as a shopping or perhaps an errands to-do list as well. Now, if you are wanting more features out of Todoist, though, you may need to pay for their premium service. For example, labels is something that you will need to upgrade to their premium service. And if you want to add more details such as attachments and comments to a particular task, you are also going to need to upgrade to premium. So if you want a quick and dirty to-do list, if you want something that are primarily, you know, one sentence tasks and you don't need to add up further information, Todoist may be a great solution. But if you're wanting a few more features, you may need to subscribe to their premium service.
Now, the last application I want to share with you today may just be the best of both worlds. The functionality and the team collaboration of Asana combined with the easy and simple layout of Todoist. And that is SquidHub. SquidHub is a little bit newer than both Asana and Todoist, but I really enjoy the layout that SquidHub has going on with their project management tool. So here you can see SquidHub has three different columns. In the left-hand side, we have our to-dos and our meetings, which we can separate by different subheaders. And SquidHub also makes it very easy to check things off. If I just check this button here, I can uh, check off tasks as I'm going about my day. In the middle, we have our files and our links. So instead of necessarily having them attached directly to these tasks, we can have a nice directory or a nice folder here of all the files and links associated with this project. And then what I really like about SquidHub is that you have a messages column here as well. So as you're collaborating with team members, you can see that discussion. You can add your message, add your comments right here on the right-hand side. You don't have to go to some other area. You don't necessarily have to integrate with Slack or some other communication tool. You can do so right here. Now, if you don't want to see all of these three columns at the same time, that's fine. You can, you can minimize them here and just focus on your to-dos for the day. On the left hand side you can see our menu area where you can have multiple groups and multiple projects. You can also direct message individuals here and a calendar view of all of your tasks. And no, this is not a power up. The calendar is built right into the Squid Hub application. Now, when it comes to adding attachments and adding additional information here, I'm going to open up one of these particular tasks. You will see you won't have quite as many options in terms of adding labels and adding more custom buttons, things that you might find within Trello and Asana. But for many people, this is enough for them to be at their productive best. It's enough for them to uh, get going, to get their project underway, and not maybe uh, deal with all the complexities of all the subtasks and everything else going on. But again, having that central uh, repository for all of your files and having those messages over here on the right-hand side of the screen. So there you have it, my three alternatives to Trello, Asana, Todoist, and SquidHub. Now, what I would love to learn from you is are you using any one of these three Trello alternatives? If so, I would love to hear your feedback and let me know what your favorite feature is of either Asana, Todoist, or SquidHub. Of course, I would love to have you subscribe here on the Simpletivity YouTube channel. I also want to give a big shout out to SquidHub for sponsoring today's video. If you'd like to learn more about the SquidHub application, I'll leave a link in the description below. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you subscribe, like, and comment to today's video. Remember, being productive does not need to be difficult. In fact, it's very simple.